Welcome to the Fundamentals of Programming with Python. I'm Paul Laskowski. I'm a professor at the UC Berkeley School of Information. And I do research in which I use economic modeling tools to understand competition in network industries. Um, in my own work, I actually use programming all the time. I've programmed in C, in Java, uh, in Python, and I absolutely love Python. I hope in this course you'll see why it's such a great programming language. Um, as we're putting this material together, we're really lucky to find uh, two other experienced programmers and, and instructors to work with me. Uh, this is Kea Shalu, who has a lot of experience as a software engineer in industry, and Bill Chamber, who I've seen has a really in-depth grasp of the Python data packages. I'm a graduate student at UC Berkeley School of Information, focused on data science, as well as applying these data science concepts to real business problems. And I am a software engineer at Ancestry.com and also a lecturer at the School of Information at UC Berkeley. And I can just say that I use Python a lot in my work, and it's very extensible, very easy to use, and I'm really excited to be teaching you. And actually, one thing that's great is Kay and I worked together on a Python course just a few years ago, a live course that took place in the School of Information. So it's really great to be working with him again. Um, we've put together a, a really exciting course. We've tried to put in all of the components of Python that you're going to need going forward. Um, parts of Python that you'll use in storage and retrieval, uh, in machine learning, and a lot of other courses. However, we're not just going to focus on Python. We're also going to focus on the greater ecosystem of tools that you're going to need to succeed as a data scientist. This includes Jupyter Notebooks, as well as Git, which is a version control system. When we teach Python, we're going to be moving fast, but with lots of examples. In fact, in every lesson, there's going to be several examples that you can work on. We highly recommend that you take the time to do the examples so you can really reinforce what was just taught in the lesson. In addition, we'll be teaching several different programming styles like regular scripting, but also functional and object-oriented programming. And near the end of the course, we'll have an object-oriented project. At the end of the course, we're going to focus on the primary data packages used within Python. This will prepare you for the in-depth analysis that you're going to need to perform in the next couple of years as a data scientist. We're going to be analyzing real-world data sets, including looking at historical flight information to look at flight delays, as well as the training schedule as for the run-up to my marathon. Um, I think you can see that there's a lot of material that we're going to cover throughout the semester. So this is really a fast-paced course. Um, especially if you haven't worked with a programming language before, like a general high-level programming language, a lot of this will be new. It's not just the syntax. It's not just memorizing facts and statements. Um, it's really a lot of the course is about learning how to think like a programmer, to think algorithmically, to think in an object-oriented fashion. And all of this takes time, so please be patient as you go forward. Um, really take the time, set aside time every week uh, to work on the exercises and reflect on how the parts of Python that you're learning really fit together. We hope that you're feeling ready to get started with the material. Uh, good luck over the course of the semester. Good luck. Good luck.